with the new OP 10 set, the Marshall D Teach Leader got some new cards that really buffed it up. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mobby here, and today I'm going to be giving you my personal deck list for the Marshall D Teacher that came out in OP09. Make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. I upload daily duels and deck profiles for different anime TCGs. Alright, so here we go guys, just so you know if you're watching this in the future, this is um, Teach from OPO9, however, this is from OPO10 and below, which did get uh, some new support. If you're interested in just a OPO9 version, link in the description to see my past decks for this leader, and of course, any other leader. So, yes, this leader did get some new support, it made it more consistent, and now it's just way more skewed towards actual Blackbeard Pirates archetype. It was before but now that there's some more cards it makes the stage more viable so let's go ahead and talk about this this is based on some tournament winner decks as well as my own personal preferences so let's begin uh let's see 5000 power five life black leader your on play abilities don't activate so you pretty much almost never ever want to have on play in your deck and then activate main uh you may trash one card until the end of your opponent's turn they cannot use on play as well the mark of a good blackbeard uh, martial league teach leader or you know player is when it's just knowing the matchup and knowing when to play this so for example if you're playing against a katakuri you want to stop their eight drops and ten drops uh you know and the nine drops etc you want to stop uh gecko morias for black leaders etc so just knowing the matchup is what's going to make or break this leader for you because you're trashing one card per turn and yeah you usually do want to trash it as soon as the threat starts to come in so it could be as early as a six dawn really depending on the leader so let's go ahead and talk about this but it really helps out that the leader does have five life making you a little bit more tanky and adding more cards to your hand okay so the first card we have here, we're going to talk all the way from the 1 cost to the 10 cost, and definitely going to talk a little bit more with the new cards that come into play here. So it's a stronger from OP09, 102, activate main, trash one, and this character. If your leader is a Blackbeard, you get to draw one card, then give an opponent's character negative 2 costs during this turn. With this particular deck and the type of different uh, synergies you have here with KOing cards and the lowering costs, you usually aren't ever going to use this. It's good for a searching uh, target and it's good for trashing for the 2k counter. Yeah, you're usually never going to play this on the board, but it's good for just all the reasons I just said. So great card, running four of these. Now, we're running some Lafites. This is from OP09 as well. Uh, this is 101, activate main, rest this character and one of your dawn, search for the top five, grab a black beard, then the rest go to the bottom. It's a really good searcher, if you, especially if you go second, which you probably do. This uh, With this deck, you definitely want to go second. So pretty much first turn, you're going to be playing Lafite. Second turn with four dawn, you're going to be playing pretty much one of your best cards of the deck, which is the uh, Jesus Burgess. But yeah, this is a searching. And then if you do play on the board, it gets to rest itself. And then it's going to be a pseudo blocker because your opponent does not want to give you more chances to search though instead of for attacking for you uh they're gonna attack this most definitely so a really good card the only thing is it doesn't synergize with your leader's ability for having stuff in the trash but you don't really need that if you're running this okay so full la this is from opo9 now a lot of tournament decks in opo9 wasn't you fully using this and the reason being it's because well let's let's talk about the card first right opo9 Activate main, trash one card, then look at the top three, grab a black beard, and then the rest go back to the bottom of your deck. So the reason why people really did not use it is because while the black beard pirates was a pretty decent archetype, if you run nothing but the cards that supported it in OP09, it wouldn't be enough value for you to justify looking and trashing and hopefully getting because you need three. And if you trash one and you you go ahead and miss and you brick, you just lose a card, which is going to be used for your leader ability. So you really did not ever want to miss this. This deck is only running a couple of cards, maybe I think around eight or so that are not black bear. Then you're usually not going to miss with it. But now we're running a bunch of these just to make it way more consistent because you're always trashing a card to search for the top three, especially if you have multiple bricks in your hand. You want to trash and grab stuff so this is a really good card now we're running it in three because it doesn't matter if you find more you can trash the one you just got to find more blackbeard stuff so really great freaking card now speaking of cards that aren't blackbeard but it's being used in the stack this is tempest kick one cost from opio 7 you get to draw one card so this always happens no matter what so you can always like do that if you need to but if you have 10 or more cards in your trash which you should 
when you use this as teach you give up to one of your opponent's characters negative three cost so it's really good it pays for itself just for one and you are most likely to be able to give negative three in order to combo with your other abilities the trigger is decent as well ko up to one of your opponent's characters with three or less now from here on out like op9 op10 going forward it seems like a lot of decks are now starting to realize the value especially the tournament decks they're realizing the value of straight one drop or two cost blockers even though a lot of characters are like you know a lot of um, decks like to destroy small characters they still have to use the resources to destroy the small characters so that's why you know something like this is about more valuable this particular trigger so many four of these because it's just really good Speaking of the uh, two cost blockers that are valuable, Vasco Shot is now in the stick. So OP09221 just has a Nape blocker, but once again, very cheap to put out, especially if you're relying on your mid cards to win you the game. You're going to have a lot of extra dawn to do so. And of course, this is a Blackbeard Pirate, so it's searchable. And it's, a, it's a searchable by the stage and also by Lafite. So running a couple of these, just a couple of these. Now we have one of your key pieces of the deck. This is going to help you KO a lot of stuff. This is Doc Q. This is from OP09. So this is a 201. Activate main. You can rest this character and then KO a one or less. So if you just simply combo this with the um, with Tempest Kick, for example, you're going to be being you're going to be able to KO a four drop. It's really awesome with just the uh, um, with just three done. 3 Dawn and, of course, the 10 that you have. But on KO, draw a card. So you're usually, when you play this, you're probably going to play it on the field and not do anything with it unless you want to KO that turn, which you're going to be KOing uh, by resting, and then your opponent will attack into it. Then you get value from the draw. So a really crazy good card to have in your starting hand or just finding throughout the whole game. Next off, we have a Shiryu card. So this is from OPO9, 342 with one dawn attached and then you attack you can trash two cards to draw to uh with this card you are almost like i, I guarantee like 99 percent of the time you're never going to play this it's here for the searchable and for the 2k counter and that's pretty much it so running four of these okay so now we're running probably your best card of the deck this one's going to help you win a lot of games this is jesus burgess or jesus i'm not sure how they say it so blackbeard pirates from opio 9 Four, five, one. This character cannot be KO'd by opponent's effects, which is amazing. However, it can still be bottom deck. It can still be bounced back by your hand. But check this out. If your leader is Blackbeard, this character gains 1,000 for every four cards in your trash. This is persistent on your turn and the opponent's turn. So, yes, this is, uh, you, you want to trash, the lots of ways to trash stuff, right? You, you're going to be trashing stuff with the leader ability late game. You're going to have Tempest Kicking, which uses itself to go into the trash to draw more. Full lead every single turn to trash. It's, and uh, Lafite, it's going to be used early to be able to go into the trash. It's so good. And then, you know, you just got to keep track with markers and everything. But I've played games where this thing goes to 8,000, 9,000, 10, 11. Persistent, you have more than one of these on the board. At least two, you're, you're going to be able to get crazy attacks on the board. So your opponent has to play around this via, via, you know, just killing it early. But you can always play around that yourself by just not attacking until this is at least a seven to eight thousand uh, leader. Uh, sorry, power level. But you can always mess around with it. All right. So now we have another card from OPO9, Black Hole. If your leader is Blackbeard, negate the effect of an opponent's character. Then KO if it's four or less. So once again, this works really well with your very cheap um you know reductions such as the uh tempest kick goes down by three you're going to be able to ko a, a seven thousand and the effect is pretty negligible for the most part negate the effect you know if for example you're you, you can't ko a borsalino but now you can with this uh maybe they have a maybe they're also running a blackbird deck and you can negate this and you can negate the draw one card on ko so there are some pretty good uses for this but for the most part you're probably just going to ko it and just 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 have a ko card the trigger is negate the effect of a leader or character during this turn uh probably not that important as well usually not that important so we're running two of these but now it's time for probably the best ko card of the deck and it's not even a blackbeard card this is another card that cannot be searched but it's a really good card nonetheless you want it so finger pistol this is from eb01 cp9 you can trash two from the top of your deck which combos with j with jesus burgess so much you really need to keep trashing cards with this then you ko a five or less now for the most part you don't even need you don't even need to lower the cost of a lot of stuff with this effect but even if you combo this one tempest kick you're KOing an eight drop you're KOing something like uh you know a gecko mori on the field it's such a good card for with, with, with the tempest five 
five dawn for KOing, insane value in trashing the tip. And the trigger is activate the main effect. God, this card is insanely good. It's just so good you're running four of these. It's your best KO card. Next off, we have Von Auger. This is from OPO9. This is a 561 activate main. You can rest this character. If your leader has Blackbeard, give up to one of your opponent's characters negative three. So in previous turns, if you put if you throw out your dot Q, you can also throw this out on the turn that you have five or six Dawn, rest it right away, and you can also rest your dot Q to KOA four drop. It's a really good consistent value. It has a good base uh, base um, power level, so your opponent can't just trade in with their leader at five thousand power. And yeah, once this uh, once this gets KO'd, I forgot to put it on here, but basically you draw a card if this also gets KO'd. Really good effect. It's also negative three. It's a, it's a consistent one as well. It's a consistent negative three. So that means your opponent wants to get rid of it because they don't want to see that. They definitely don't want to see that. So it's a high target value pseudo blocker. Next, it's a new card from OP10. We're starting to get to the new stuff here. This is Jesus Burgess, Dress Rosa, and Blackbeard Pirates. I'm going to try to uh, use this in maybe a Rebecca deck or a uh, Usopp deck going forward, but we're going to do more testing. Anyway, this is a new card from OP10. 560 counter with one Dawn attach. If you have eight or more cards in your trash, you gain rush. So, really good. If you're able to use the rush, then you could have one Dawn making it 7,000. So, it's a really good surprise attack for, you know, definitely for attacking your opponent. So, it's a really good card to put in the deck. All right. So, we're just running two in here. Now, we have yet another really good card from OP10. This makes the deck just way more consistent and gives you just more flexibility. So, this is Kuzan, former Navy, Blackbeard Pirates, 5-5-0 five, five, counter. This character cannot be removed by the uh, from the field by your opponent's effects, meaning unless they somehow KO it when it's rested or KO it with active, let's say with the, you know, with the Dressrosa can activate, you know, can KO a... Um, can attack into an active character type of thing. It cannot be bounced back. It cannot be bottom decked. It cannot be KO'd with an effect. This is usually 99% of the time. This is going to stay on the field and you're going to be able to use the ability next turn, which is you attack first, then you use the ability. You can trash this card. You get the draw one. So it replaces itself. Then you play a Blackbeard from the trash. That's five or less. And one of your best ones to play is going to be this. You can play this from the trash. So we're only running two in here because of this deck in particular, you're trashing a lot, a lot, a lot. You'd rather not see any bricks in your hand. You're most likely going to be able to get, you know, trash these. So you're going to be able to summon these or summon these Van Augers. Or if you really need to, you can summon something like the uh, the Vasco shot for a two blocker. But anyway, you're you, you're you're definitely going to be able to attack with this. And um, yeah, it's a little slow. That's why I'm running a couple of these, but you're going to be able to attack in and then uh, draw a card and it just replace itself. So really good. Next off, we have a new card from OPO 10. This is Liberation. So this is a six cost. If the number of your characters is at least two less than your opponent's characters, you KO up to one of their characters with the base cost of six and up to one with the base cost of four. So meaning if you have one, the most, uh, you know, and they have three, you have two, they have four, you have zero, they have two, uh, three, five, etc. You can activate this. Now, this is a, it's a little uh, iffy because obviously you can't, it says base cost, meaning you can't use any other effects to lower it. But, you know, this is so good against swarm decks that you're going to be able to KO a lot of stuff from, you know, Dofies, for example. Oh, it's really good. Uh, the trigger is negate the effects of an opponent's leader character this turn. Once again, during the opponent's turn, it's uh, almost negligible. Not going to happen a lot. And you're finally, the last card of the deck is Marshall the Teach, of course, from OPO9. 10, 12, 0, innate blocker, activate main. If your leader is Blackbeard and the character was played this turn, then up to one of your leader's effects, uh, opponent's leaders are negated for the turn. It's pretty interesting because it, let's say you use it against a, a Nell or, or something like that. They won't be able to use the heal, which is really nice. Then up to one of your opponent's characters are negated and then that character could also not attack. So remember, it doesn't matter if your if your opponent's character is even a vanilla. You do as much as you can. So you negate one of their effects, which if they don't have anything, it doesn't matter. The character can still not attack. A lot of people always ask a bunch of questions. Why can your leader ability attack during this turn, that turn? You have to remember the order of this. They're only negated during this turn but the character is negated for the next turn. So it's a little bit of a, you know, a little combo two effects. And that is the deck. It's not that crazy different from you would some from something you would see in OPO9, but 
it's just more Blackbeard cards in general because you have more value Blackbeard cards. So in OP09, for example, you would probably run some more late game stuff like a Kaido 9 drop or a 7 cost Jack or even the 4 cost Laboon, which you technically you can still run, but doing so just makes it so you have a little bit of less value with the full elite stage. Besides, you already have 8 cards that are non Blackbeard that you know potentially could break, but you usually not gonna brick so yeah there you go so the goal of the deck is to just wait for the perfect opportunity to start using your leader's ability uh you know when six drop seven eight nine whatever you decide and your uh win condition is definitely going to be the four drop burgess you like you have so many ways to trash now you want to get three or four of these on the board you're going to win if your opponent can't deal with them because they don't have a bounce back or a bottom deck effect these are going to win you the game as long as you really uh just protect them by not attacking too early etc you have a lot of ways to ko things on the board and you have some surprise rushes with these with these uh jesus burgess and the kuzan could also bring back another jesus burgess if you really need to really great cards so that's it guys this is the current deck list for op10 if this card gets more support in op11 going forward you know we're gonna make another video talking about that so that's it thanks for watching remember down in the description if you want to see every single deck and every single set you know the full op09 etc and uh, yeah stay tuned for more leaders and more upcoming duels on this channel and i'll see you guys next time bye